beautiful. It's been beautiful. Time yeah. change is doing good things for us yes, so far. Yeah. This is the nice time of the time change. We're like, oh, this time change not, not so bad. Not a big totally deal. fine. Mm -hmm. A month from now, we'll be crying a little bit, but that's okay. Just a little bit. And I think folks may be crying at the extended forecast and oh. yeah, pointing fingers tears. at a yeah. couple of us here in the weather department. You. But, you know, we've gotten win after win after win with the forecast recently, especially as we've been through part of November already. It is the potential loss that we're going to encounter as we head toward the weekend that you may not love. We are not losing when it comes to the forecast right now. Temperatures in the 50s and the 60s across Northeast Ohio at the moment. You may have noticed that our wind has shifted out of the north that has passed the cold front that swept on through. So we've got some of that cooling conditions across Northeast Ohio. We are about 5 to 15 degrees cooler than this time yesterday. We'll slide from the low 50s back into the 40s if you haven't made it there already. We'll toss up a few clouds overnight, but we're actually going to stay mainly clear. That'll allow us to be cooler tomorrow morning than we actually were this morning. And across the area, you can kind of tell there's a difference in temperature profile. That's because the front hasn't necessarily reached the entire mid-Atlantic and the deep south just yet. It is 35 in Minneapolis, 54 in Chicago, and we are in the mid-50s as well. We have to look all the way back out to the northwest to see our next weather maker. It is that in tandem with something that's going to happen over Florida that is going to maybe come together as we zoom ahead. So this is your natural design kind of big picture look here. I've paused it because you can kind of get an idea as what's happening. This little mess of a system here right now still subtropical, but that is Nicole. It is set to make its way a little bit closer to the mid Atlantic, bring some extra rain chances potentially to the Ohio River Valley. This will mesh up with a cold front and that will usher in changes for us as we head through the later part of the week. And you are seeing that is snowfall on your map right here across Northeast Ohio and much of the Great Lakes. We have chances not only for Saturday, but also Sunday and in to Monday. It's not going to be a very impressive system, but it's going to be a little shock to the system here and your Union Home Mortgage extended forecast. So for Election Day tomorrow, mid 50s, mid 60s though by Wednesday, and we're actually closer to 70 for Thursday and Friday. It's what happens with that big push of a front that we dropped from the 40s into the 30s for the first Ooh. time in quite some time by Sunday, Betsy. Yep, it uh, that that time. Okay. We've it's been delayed so it has. far. It so. has. Yeah. Okay. We get the. Get the comfort food ready, most certainly. Thanks so much, Peyton.